In today's video, we'll be doing a comparison between Neuron Writer and Robinize. Both of these tools gather information from Google and give you recommendations that you need to follow if you want to rank your blog post on the first page of Google. So let's go ahead and do a comparison between these two tools and see which one is better at optimizing your content. In order to do a fair comparison, I'll be looking at the pricing differences between Nuon Writer and Robinize. I'll also be taking a look at specific features such as the topic research and the competitor research tools. I'll also be looking at, of course, the content optimization features included. I'll also be looking out to see if there's built-in AI copywriters within these tools and testing it out to see how effective it is. And overall, I'll be looking at the ease of use or how beginner friendly each one of these tools are. As I mentioned earlier, both of these tools are on AppSumo, so that means they both have lifetime deals. Nuon Writer is $59 one-time payment, and Robinize is $69 one-time payment for the basic lifetime deal. As I mentioned, Nuon Writer is $59, so $10 less than Robinize. And for that $59, you get two projects, so you get two website domains included. You also get 25 content editor queries per month, so that means that you can optimize 25 pieces of content or blog post each month. You also get 15,000 monthly AI credits. So that's a pretty decent amount of AI credits included in Neuron Writer. So if you don't have an external AI copywriter, that can be very useful. And you also get a couple other features, but you also have the option to stack these codes. So if you need more content editor queries, or you need more monthly AI credits, then if you go ahead and stack two codes, as you can see, you'll get 50 content editors and 30,000 monthly AI credits. On the other hand, Robinize, as I mentioned, is $69 for the first tier, and that includes 15 reports per month. So that means you can optimize or get information about 15 different keywords each month. If we're comparing pricing, it looks like Duran Writer is the better option. Not only is it $10 less, you also get a lot more um, content editors. You get 25 here um, on Nuon Writer, while on Robinize, you get 15. And you're also paying a little bit more money. So for pricing, I would have to go with Nuon Writer over Robinize. If you want to go ahead and grab the lifetime deal for any of these tools, I'll leave a link below this video. In order to start optimizing your content on Robinize and Nuon Writer, you want to go ahead and enter the phrase in which you're trying to optimize or rank for. So for this example, we'll be trying to optimize for the keywords, the best credit card for businesses. So you want to go ahead and enter the phrase, the country and the language. And as you can see, once you go ahead and click generate report, you can see that on Robinize, the AI is grabbing all of the most relevant information from Google. So it's gathering all of the key information that the top ranked blogs or websites have used to rank for this specific keyword. And it's going to put all of that information into one place. And that's very similar to new and writer. So if you want to go ahead and start optimizing your content, first, you want to go ahead and enter the domain in which you're writing content for. So I like this step a little better because it's more um, sort of customized to your own website. Once you go ahead and enter your domain, this is where you'd be able to optimize your content. So again, what you want to do is go ahead and paste the topic or the blog post in which you're trying to rank for. And again, you can change the um, language and you can change the country and go ahead and click start. And as we can see, New One Writer will again start to pull all of the most important information from Google and put that all into one place to allow you uh, and give you recommendations that you can follow if you wanna rank for that specific keyword. Once the analysis is complete, just go ahead and click on that report. And once you click on that report, you'll be directed into the content optimization editor. So this is where you'd be able to construct and write your content and also optimize your content on Robinize. Now let's head over back to new and writer and see how the content optimization process works. So again, once that report is complete, you want to go ahead and click on the keyword. And as you can see here, we get an additional step that we don't see on Robinize. If we scroll down here, we'll be able to see some of the top ranked websites and blog posts for that specific keyword. We can go ahead and check out their URL as well if you want to go ahead and read their content. But this gives you a nice snapshot of the Google SERP result for that specific keyword. And you can also go ahead and deselect or select other competitors in which you would like to compare with. So sometimes it's going to be hard for a new website to compete with websites such as NerdWallet or Forbes.com. So maybe you'd want to go ahead and deselect these websites and select websites that are more within your range and websites that you have a more realistic chance of outranking. I really like this feature that's included in New Run Writer. I think it's very important for you to really gauge your competition based on your own specific website. I don't really see that feature 
um, as much on Robinize. We just went ahead and entered a keyword and then we got back some information based, I believe probably on the top 10 or top 15 results. But I like that New Run Writer is putting an emphasis on trying to um, really cater it for your own specific website. For competitor research tools, I'd have to give New Run Writer a score of four out of five. I like that they allow you to customize your competitors and choose who you sort of wanna go against. For Robinize, I'd give them a score of three out of five. On their contents editor tool, you do have access to the SERP overview, so you'd be able to see your competitor. So you do have the ability to do some competitor research, but I think you just have some more functionality on New Run Writer when compared to Robinize. So now let's go ahead and compare the most important feature in both of these tools, which would be their content optimization tools. Once you finish customizing your competitors and doing your competitive research, just go ahead and click next. And now we can see that we're in the content editor um, optimization tool. So this is where you'd be able to create and optimize your content on New Run Writer. And here is the content editor for Robinize. If we take a look at both New Run Writer and Robinize, we can see that their content optimization tool is pretty similar. We see the area in which you can write your content. We also see the terms on the right hand side here. If I head over to New Run Writer, I can see the content editor here in the left hand side. And again, I can see the terms in which I need to include within my blog post on the right hand side here. There's a couple of small differences. I like that you have a readability score here on Robinize. And you also have a content grade. So the content grade is a number between zero and 10. The higher the number, the better optimized your content is, and the more likely it is to rank on Google. Again, if you head back over to New Run Writer, we can see a content score here. So this is between zero and 100. Same rules apply, the higher the number, the more optimized your content is, and more likely it is to rank on Google. On the right hand side of Robinize, we see the terms in which we need to include within this blog post if you want to rank. We also can go ahead and filter this by importance or the ones in which we used or unused, uh, muted or unmuted. And we'd also be able to see a score next to each keyword and the score will tell us how important that keyword is out of a number of 10. So of course, the higher the number, the more important it is for you to include that keyword. And if you went ahead and hit that keyword, you'd be able to see some examples of um, blog posts that used that specific keyword. So if you're sort of stuck when writing or if you're experienced in writer's block or don't know how to include that keyword within your blog post, you can get some inspiration here. Next to terms, you have an inspiration tab. So this will be different questions that people are asking related to this blog post on Google. Next to that, you have your outline. So if you want to go ahead and get some inspiration for outlines, you can go ahead and open up um, those specific competitors or you can go ahead and click on that and you'd be able to see the outline for the blog post in which they used and you can go ahead and add that right onto your specific blog post. And lastly, you have the SERP tab. So this will show you an overview of the top ranked blog post or websites for that specific search term. And if we head over to Robinize again, we can see here that we have the content terms in which we need to include. And again, if you wanna go ahead and click onto that term, you can um, actually go ahead and see how much times that's used by your competitors. And you can go ahead and see the usage example again, like we saw in Robinize. Next to content terms, you have ideas. So again, these are the ideas or questions in which people are asking in relation to that specific keyword. And next we have YouTube. So we have some YouTube ideas. So this is a pretty cool feature. It'll actually go ahead and search that term on YouTube and give you some of the top ranked blog posts for that specific search term. So this can be a really um, nice way to get some more unique information about a blog post rather than going out and reading all of the other blog posts on Google, you can get some uh, more unique information and relevant information as well from YouTube videos. Overall, both of these content writer and optimization tools are pretty similar. So I wouldn't say that there's much to really separate them from each other. But what does make New Run Writer stand out is that they have a built-in AI writer. So if you're stuck on creating content, you can go ahead and highlight that content and click the AI writer. And as you can see, the AI will actually propagate and give you some content based upon the topic in which you're writing about. So as you can see for a business credit card, we got a nice explanation as to what a business credit card is. And if you like it, you can go ahead and use that text. As you can see, it's really easy to generate content and you can go ahead and add that onto your blog post. So again, you can go ahead and copy any term and paste it onto the content editor here, click AI and click start paragraph and the AI will give you a new paragraph. And as you can see, you get really high quality and relevant content. Because New Run Writer has that built-in AI copywriter, 
it really does set itself apart from Robin Ice. And especially when you think about the pricing, you're actually paying less for Neuron Rider, but you're getting a lot more features included in this tool compared to Robin Ice. So for those reasons, I'd give Neuron Rider an overall score of 21.5 out of 25. I think they have really great pricing. They have really good competitor research tools and their content optimization tool is also really good. But what I really like is their built-in AI copywriter that allows you to generate copy while you're optimizing it at the same time. For the price of the lifetime deal, you get a lot of value and you get access to some really powerful tools that makes optimizing your content really easy. For Robin Eyes, I'd give them a score of 19.5 out of 25. They're still a fairly new content optimization tool, so I'm sure they'll get better in the future. They can definitely improve on their competitor research and content research tools. Their content optimization tool is pretty good. There's a lot of really cool features included in there. I really like that. It's also very easy and very intuitive to use, but unlike Neuron Writer, they don't have a built-in AI copywriter. So if I had to choose between the two, I would go with Neuron Writer over Robin Eyes at this time. I think you get a lot of value and a lot of powerful features included in Neuron Writer. If you wanna try these tools out for yourself, I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below this video. I hope that this video was useful and that you're able to learn something new. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.